Let's fly, let's roll, let's get it. Whoa, shawty showing out, throwing on the dance floor. Fashion killer, huh? You don't give a fuck. What a nigga gotta say or a bitch. Why? channel if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button to join the fam because you stay lit over here you feels me okay and if you're returning you work hey how are you guys doing on this lovely day excuse my roughness okay because this video as you guys could tell by the title is going to be my updated wash day routine okay i actually did change a few things in my hair routine because my hair has i don't know it's just been acting crazy and different lately so I had to change a few things not really that much as you guys will see but I do want to give a few little hair facts before we get into the video number one I am relaxed in case you guys didn't know in case you just like didn't really read the title I have relaxed hair my hair is relaxed number two I am NOT transitioning but I am currently five months post relaxer and I realized that my last wash day routine i was like really far out from my relaxer so i'm gonna try to do a wash day routine where like i just got my hair relaxed so it doesn't like seem like you know but i like to stretch my relaxers i'm not trying to go natural i'm not transitioning none of that i'm still you know relaxing or whatever i just like to stretch them i do a lot of protective styling as you guys can see it's kind of she she needs some help right now okay she she oily she's way down she's going through it and don't get me started on this new growth y'all don't get me started but it's okay because that is gonna be laid and slayed after we wash the hair and blow dry and flat iron it okay okay so yeah um i think i said everything that i wanted to say so without further ado we just gonna go ahead and jump right into it all right guys so i just got done washing my hair you know one day i'll actually like record like while i'm in the shower and stuff when I get a nice bathroom because these door bathrooms are not it but that's not what I'm here to tell you guys about so I'm gonna tell you guys what I use to wash my hair with um most of it is still the same except for like one thing but that one thing is very very important okay it's very important so let me go ahead and get started <clears throat> Oh, Jesus, y'all, I'm out of breath. I try to clean up my room in the background, make it look nice. Like, my desk is all organized and stuff. Y'all see my book bag over there glowing or whatever. Yeah. So, I use this every time I wash my hair. Like, literally every time. Can you guys see that? Can you see it? The 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner by Aussie. Let me tell y'all, that stuff is beautiful. I usually put it on my hair because I always wash my hair when I take a shower. So, I usually put it on my hair. Like, as soon as I get in the shower, then, like, you know, I wash my body or whatever. And then, like, I rinse it out. And it makes my hair so soft. And it smells amazing. And it definitely helps because my hair recently has been, like, super dry. And actually, I saw it on another YouTuber's channel. Her name is Lisa. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not going to try. But it starts with an O. I saw it on her channel, like... A really long time ago and I was like oh my gosh I should try it because she also has relaxed hair so I tried it and you guys I love it and it's not expensive either I think it's like five dollars I think it's not that much and it's lasted a really long time because I've had this for a minute so yeah definitely recommend number two I'm still using this shampoo oh shoot it's upside down I'm still using this shampoo but I do want to say um this shampoo is like super hard to find like i know it looks like no i've seen that numerous places naima no you haven't you've seen the one that says natural right there excuse my nails y'all if you've seen the one that says natural right there this one says relaxed but i'm about to switch over to the natural one because this thing oh as y'all heard this thing is empty pretty much so i'm about to switch to the natural one my mom uses the natural one and she has relaxed hair I don't really think I mean it probably makes a difference there's probably like a little bit of some different products in it or whatever I don't think it'll be a big deal but I'm still using the Pantene you know so yeah natural relax whatever whatever floats your boat I'm gonna throw this in the trash okay my conditioner I still use this conditioner I actually think this is a different one from the last one if you guys could if it would focus on the words and it's not it's not gonna focus this conditioner is mega moist one the one that's like for um, moisture because as I told you guys before my hair is like super dry I don't I don't know what's been going on lately like 
my hair has been super dry every time I wash my hair I use this and this all the time all the time you guys so yeah once again this is like five dollars at Walmart and you get this whole thing it's huge and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I use like a huge clump of it like I don't use it sparingly at all I use like a huge clump I put some of it on my, my scalp if you use me and then some of it on my ends because my ends is going through it but that's a whole nother story all right and then the last product I use I told you guys I didn't like this product but is it gonna focus yeah I told you guys I didn't like this product in my last wash day routine and I still kind of don't but I will say it definitely has kind of helped a little bit with trying to condition my scalp with all like the weird seasonal changes that's going on down here in Georgia so I mean I guess it's a really thick conditioner though and that's what I forgot to mention my hair absorbs like oils conditioner super super quick so this three minute miracle is literally perfect for me because if I leave a deep conditioner on like any regular deep conditioner on for like literally like more than like two minutes and 30 seconds my hair will be oily when I flat iron it and that's not what you want okay remember people when you're trying to flat iron your hair you don't want to weigh it down with oils because that defeats the purpose. If you need to put oils in your hair to moisturize your hair, you always go with a lightweight oil. If your hair absorbs oil super, super quickly or super fast, whatever I said earlier, definitely recommend this because my hair does the same thing. But yeah, this is super, super thick. I don't like to use too much of it because like I just said, my hair will absorb it and then like my hair will be oily so I mean I kind of use a lot of it but I kind of don't maybe like in the middle and I always put it like right on my scalp I don't put it like try to worry about rubbing it through my hair don't do any of that just put it right on my scalp and keep pushing all right with that being said y'all I'm like out of breath am I talking fast I feel like I'm talking fast I'm also trying to work on drying my hair with t-shirts as you guys can see I know I said I didn't care in my last wash day routine. I think I said that. If I didn't say that, well, I didn't. But I've been trying to make sure my hair is like super healthy. My scalp is moisturized and all that. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this whole t-shirt thing a shot. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get used to it. And I mean, yeah, I guess. But yeah, we about to take this down so we can see what your girl about to be working with, okay? Y'all look at my little curl. Y'all see it. Y'all can't see it. Can y'all see it? My sideburns always curl up. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why I was like about to untie this like it was a scarf, but it's not. <sighs> okay, so this is my hair right now. It's kind of damp. I always try to dry it like as like as much as possible when I get out of the shower because like who wants to like who who wants to deal with hair like my hair takes forever to dry for first for one okay because it's way thicker than it looks on this camera right now okay it's way thicker than it looks but it takes forever to dry so I always try to dry as much of it as possible so yeah and mostly the rest of my wash day routine is pretty much still the same I think so I'm not really going to explain as much, but I will let you guys know I still detangle my hair in four sections. Best thing that has ever happened to me that I learned. They don't have to be even. You just split your hair in four sections and then you detangle. Okay, so I'm about to do that real quick. So now that I have it split into four sections and I'm looking like a crazy person, I take my wide tooth comb and I just like start from the bottom and detangle. I promise you guys it looks like I'm being rough, but I'm not. Like this is just how I detangle my hair. Remember when I was talking about lightweight oils? Boom, here you go. Get yourself some of this. Get yourself some of that. 
is argan oil. Um, you probably don't necessarily have to get this kind. I mean, get whatever argan oil floats your boat, okay? Get whatever floats your boat. But I use this kind. Um, I also have started using this as my uh, heat protectant because I don't know what happened. I was taking my heat protectant home in one of my bags and it spilled out all over the place and I never bought any more. But this can actually also double as a heat protectant. It says it on the back. So not only can you like, you know, get a little auger and oil up in here for some shine and stuff, but it could be a heat protectant. And you know, I use it as like, you know, a little moisturizer or whatever when my hair is dry up in the scalp area sometimes. But this is literally the only oil I put on my hair when I'm doing it because it's a lightweight oil and I know for a fact that it's not going to weigh my hair down. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish detangling my hair and yeah, I'll come back to you guys when I start flying. Okay, guys, my hair is nice and dry, or at least as dry as it's gonna get. Uh, well, yeah, it's dry for the most part. For the most part. Told y'all it takes forever for my hair to dry. So I'm setting my flat iron on 419 because anything less than that will not dry, I mean, straighten my hair. And yeah, let's get to it.
and your girl got them roots so that's why it looks so flat honestly it'll look flatter after i wrap it is that a word flatter it'll look flat. it'll look more flat once i wrap it right now i'm just gonna spray some grease in here right now y'all this stuff is like my holy grail to be honest because i just be putting it all over my head just to moisturize a little bit you feel me some more hair videos I don't know I like doing hair videos but I'll never be knowing like what to record or whatever but let me know if you guys want some more hair videos um make sure you guys follow me on all my social media which is always in the description box down below and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys Shake that grind on a nine to five. Hoshi and them college books trying to get a rise. But tonight I'm just trying to have a good time. Lead